This is Juanita Richardson from the Learning Resource Center. We're going to start with a PowerPoint presentation, Tips and Tricks for Searching PubMed. PubMed is a particularly sophisticated resource to use. Once you know how to search PubMed effectively, all the other online information resources will be straightforward, and the principles that we will discuss for creating an advanced search strategy with PubMed will apply across the board. Step 1. A simple search. In this case, you are interested in, in vitamin C and the common cold. You see here that PubMed is the database that's been selected. That's the default database. This is your search window. You can type your search and go. However, a couple of quick tips. You can use quotation marks around phrases so that the database understands that you want that concept searched as a phrase. You can use the Boolean operator AND between your concepts to make sure that both your concepts appear in all the articles. Because you want articles about vitamin C AND the common cold, press search. In this case, I ended up with 189 articles. You think that's too many? Step 2. Results. On your results screen, you can apply limiters to narrow down your search. In this case, I've limited my search to just humans by selecting that limiter. My other big tip is, do yourselves a favor. Limit to free full text or full text. I've selected both limiters here. Free full text is full text the publisher is allowing access to. Full text gives us resources that Michener typically has access to. Having applied these limiters, my results went from 189 down to 32, and they're all in full text. Step 3 is saving. We're looking at the results screen. You can click on any of these hypertext links to take you to the abstract of the article, where you'll get a few more details about the story. You've identified the best from the 32 articles retrieved. Now you want to save them. I like to save my best articles in abstract format, that slightly longer format including a summary of the item, just to jog my memory about a piece. You can see that I've selected three articles from my results list, and I'm saving them by sending them to, the, to a file in abstract format. But you can also print in full text. Step 4, printing. So we are looking at the abstract of one of the articles from my results page. This one looks particularly interesting to me and I want to print it right away. On the right of the screen are a couple of links. One to the full text available from the publisher, you can click on that link, and another to the full text available from Michener. Either way, the full text is available to you there. Don't ever pay for an article. If you really need something that's not immediately available to you, you can get that item from other sources, so come into the LRC. One last tip. See below on the right-hand side, similar articles. If you found the article, perfect article, don't keep searching. Use the power of PubMed to find other articles like this one. Save yourself time and grief. Everyone comfortable doing a simple search? Because now we're moving on to an advanced search. Step 1 Advanced. In this case, your request is slightly more complex. You are interested in the impact of heat on a patient with MS. So let's start by thinking about that search. You have two concepts, multiple sclerosis, a medical term, and the concept of heat. So will you, you will want to use some free text keywords in your search as well. Group together with the OR operator so that you are getting heat or humidity or humid or temperature. 
Those were the synonyms I came up with for my free text keywords, anded together with my MeSH term, multiple sclerosis. So now I'm going to let you in on the big secret of searching PubMed. I always start with MeSH. MeSH stands for Medical Subject Headings. You will see them used throughout the online information resources that we have access to, and they are gold. MeSH is a controlled vocabulary maintained by the National Library of Medicine, and all the articles in the Medline database, which is the biggest portion of PubMed, are all indexed thoroughly using MeSH. You will get the best results this way. You are going to start by searching the MeSH database. From the tab where the selection defaults to PubMed, change that selection to MeSH. Type your term into the search box, in this case multiple sclerosis, and press search. Step 3. Adding MeSH to your search. You're not searching PubMed yet. You're using MeSH to build your search. See here that multiple sclerosis is defined. to confirm that you are using the right MeSH heading. You also have a selection of subheadings pertinent to MS. Complications, diagnosis, mortality, therapy. You can select from any of these subheadings and add them to your search. We're going to start simple by simply restricting my search to this MeSH major topic. I click on Add so that my search strategy of just search multiple sclerosis as a MeSH major topic appears in the window, and then I search PubMed. Now I can type my free text keywords using the AND operator to link my keywords to the MeSH major topics mul multiple sclerosis. I've put all my free text keywords into brackets to group them together, with an OR operator separating each keyword. My limiters, humans, and full text are also selected. And I've got 69 articles. Perfect. Now I will use the same steps already discussed to select the articles I want to see, save the abstracts, and print to full text. Could you do an advanced search in PubMed? Just remember, Start with mesh.